Hello, hello, and welcome to another update video about Solana. The Solana chart basically unchanged from yesterday's update. For me, it's still and unchanged for weeks now. The 2230 level that I highlight as key level above 2230, which is basically the breakout point here of this um, structure that it, it was not an inverse head and shoulders. It could have become one, but I think the XRP news created a more direct <clears throat> breakout to the upside. We've got that 20 to 30 level here. Um, as long as we stay above that level, I think there's certainly a reasonable chance to continue higher in the yellow wave count. Again, I need to see five waves up to confirm that a lasting low has been struck. Until we see that, it is still time to be cautious and on the side of caution and careful and whatever. Um, I did issue enough warnings about this chart. Not that it's bearish, but that it is very fragile, okay? That is not bearish. Fragile is not bearish. Um, you need to understand that a lot of the altcoins are not in a good position at the moment. Again, this is the view of the December lows. I'm counting here a wave one to the upside, a wave two to the downside. That larger wave three could be currently in the making. And we could be observing here in the, the yellow wave count, the first wave of that third wave. I haven't mapped it out fully. Otherwise, the chart gets too much, uh, yeah, too overwhelming, basically. So I'm still looking at this uh, as a very, very strange structure to the upside, certainly highly distorted due to the XRP news that came out um, a couple of weeks ago. So um, yeah, I think a lot of people have waited for this chart to take off further. I said to you from the beginning, I don't like the look of this chart. So I would actually not be too surprised if the 2230 level breaks to the downside. That is structural support. I find that very important. So far, it hasn't given us any strong indication it will rally higher. Um, there are a few potentials I'm tracking. Let's take a look at them. But certainly what you need to understand is that as long as we don't have five waves up in yellow, probably that would take us into the $40 region. I cannot confirm that a lasting low has been struck on the 10th of June. So if 20 to 30 breaks, it can take us back into these price ranges here around the 10th of June. But there is one key level before that that I would pay attention to, which is $18.30, which I explained in previous videos. And I would do that again if that becomes um, important. Okay, so at the moment, in the looking at the short term, we've got here an ABC structure I'm tracking in a third wave. The idea is the B wave could have bottomed. We had certainly enough waves to the downside to count it complete. It then turned around just before invalidating the more direct bullish pattern. And yeah, um, I did, I did give it the possibility to, to rally from here. Yeah, we considered that, but I highlighted, I wanted to see one more high above 2570 for clarity. That never happened. So it didn't become a likely trade setup. Nevertheless, I am tracking support here, but it broke it. So at the moment, I have no confirmation or indication that this is a one, two setup. It came down too low. It nearly invalidated it. Um, I'm putting the wave two here. I don't believe in it, okay? because it's a five wave move down as well now. Okay, so maybe I should take it off. Um, the problem is if it breaks below that Tuesday low, and I explained that yesterday, then it's likely going to go through 2230 as well. A lot of weakness in the chart, and it tells me that if Bitcoin continues the sell off, then Solana will probably break the structure. So yeah, I mean, this could technically still be a one two setup in the C wave. Okay here but it seems to be failing and again it shows the importance of waiting for five waves up for clarity it didn't give us five waves yeah i mean i did place the fifth wave here but i explained in the video that okay i'm doing it but i don't believe it in it in it really because it didn't give us a reliable fifth wave yeah it's basically a double top so we don't have five waves up that are reliable so the trade setup fail or well, not fails but the trade setup suffers in reliability um, so I was saying, okay, we, we're tracking bullish support here at 2330, imminent bullish support for this one two setup. But if we break below that, it's likely going to fail. So I leave it labeled like that, but please understand, because it hasn't been invalidated officially. Yeah, we haven't broken below the Tuesday low, but we could do that anytime. So yeah, I'm not, I don't trust it. I can tell you that um, we are deep in support, still very close to the, in my opinion, more relevant 2230 level. Um, but very close, obviously. So it also increases the risk of failing. Again, I, I haven't, I just don't have the evidence that price has already formed a lasting low here. Yeah, you know, I, I just, you know, we didn't get five waves up. So 
yeah, be, be aware that at this stage, things could still break down because uh, without that clear structure to the upside, that would tell us, okay, we have a reliable wave one. We can't really look for a reliable wave two. And you can see it also broke below the 78.6 FIP level, which makes it weak, which just makes it weak. A lot of people will tell you this is a double bottom. Yeah, potentially, but they rarely hold. They can hold, but it's all about probabilities. They just rarely do. So at this stage, uh, I would absolutely not be surprised if it breaks below that support level. So yeah, it could be range bound for a while, could break support. At the moment, I have no clear upside setup here. I can tell you that, um, but I'm tentatively focused on the bullish structure. As long as we're holding 20 to 30, I just don't see the imminent setup that is reliable at this stage, but I will continue to focus on it, give you the latest um, updates here, but certainly this is a support range, yeah, all the way down to 20 to 30 against which price can move higher. It's just that I don't trust this structure. Okay, please be aware of that because it is only an, it's not an impulse. It would only work as a diagonal structure and diagonal structures, as you might know, they are always, first of all, morphing into different wave counts and they are yeah, characterized by sometimes deeper retracements and unreliable subwave structures. Okay, that's my update about Solana. I hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.